Welcome to Dakota Discusses. Today I will be reacting to some scary, creepy, and or paranormal videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. A glitch in the matrix or edited? Let me know down in the comments what you think. Many of you are asking me once again how such photographs could have possibly been taken, questioning the year, how they were able to hold still for the photos, as well as the means of their capture. To start, all of these photos were taken within the walls of St. George's Keep, a perilous dungeon of monsters run by the Sons of Man, a secret Catholic order dating back to the Crusades. These beasts were all locked in place, either by conventional chains or some by magic binding sigils to hold them. Now, while 19th century camera equipment was primitive by today's means, by the mid to late 1800s, it was very possible to take a photo in just a couple seconds. And of course, the vast wealth and power of the Catholic Church afforded them technology undreamed to others even during the era, leaving only the question of these monsters' capture. The answer lying in the Paladin Order of Charlemagne, a thousand-year brotherhood that stood until the late 1800s. Magically imbued, super-powered knights dating back to the Holy Roman Empire. These holy empowered super-warriors were able to capture the various monstrosities and bring them to the keep for study. My ancestor Harold Oldry, a hunter of the Sons of Man, collected these photographs into an album and kept it, passing it down through various generations of the family, as well as some of their supernatural allies until it eventually found its way to me, and by extension, all of you. That just makes me want to be a vampire and fight monsters. A research team back in June retrieved the remnants of an object at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. And tonight, their analysis suggests that the tiny metal spheres are like nothing we've seen on Earth or within our solar system. There's an ongoing debate whether these remains that have been found at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean by Avi Loeb are naturally occurring or extraterrestrial in origin. But here's what we do know. This is the first time scientists have been able to retrieve and actually study materials that came from outside our solar system. Using state-of-the-art technology at Harvard University, they've been able to determine there are elements inside these spherules like beryllium, lanthanum, and uranium at concentrations hundreds of times greater than what we've seen in our own solar system. Now, because of the unique properties of the object, there's speculation that it could have been technologically created, something similar to a Voyager-like probe. Now, before that can be proven, Avi Loeb, along with the Galileo Project, will be returning to the Pacific Ocean to hopefully recover a larger piece of this object. Understandably, a lot of scientists were skeptical of Avi Loeb's belief that this was an interstellar object, but so far, this seems to prove his hypothesis. Now, whether or not you believe this is extraterrestrial technology, Avi Loeb makes a great point that getting information from the bottom of the Pacific Ocean seems to be easier than getting information from politicians in DC. Honestly, it really doesn't surprise me that things fall out of space and into our ocean. These are the scariest moments captured on live streams, part three. Okay, so this streamer named Rubsy captured paranormal activity live on his stream. And it's absolutely terrifying. Just imagine living alone and this happens to you. There's something about stuff like this that's just insanely creepy. <laughs> Dude, the light, you just turned it off and it went back on. Honestly, I would see why that would be absolutely terrifying. All right, so what's the new evidence now? A satellite photo near Sao Paulo. All right, this I want to see. Let's take a look at that. 
Uh, it was taken by NASA, and uh, it caused some immediate concern amongst the environmental community. All right, first blush, it looks like a giant oil spill, right? That was the fear, yeah. You know, there's a lot of offshore drilling along the Brazilian coast. Fortunately, though, it turned out to be a swarm of microbes known as Marionecta rubra, and uh, they're not hazardous to marine life. Why was this brought to your attention then? Well, during the initial investigation, the agent who was studying the swarm uh, noticed something out in the water. Okay, kind of a speck. Yeah, well, it, yeah, at this resolution, it's a speck. When they zoomed in, though, they got this. It's a little fuzzy, but I'd say that's a shark. And not just any shark. If you look at this other satellite photo I brought, it was taken at the same resolution of a school bus yard in nearby Sao Paulo. Now, those are 40-foot buses, and when you compare them next to the first photo, I'd say that's a 70-foot shark. All right, let's ask the obvious first question here. Do you really think that this is the same animal that was spotted two months earlier on the other side of the ocean at Cape Verde? Look, that's a 3,000-mile trip, and, you know, it sounds like a lot, but gray whites have been tracked going 1,500 miles in a month, so for Megalodon, that would be nothing. Also, sharks are known to revisit old haunts. Uh, gray whites, for instance, have been tagged leaving the east coast of the U.S., going on a random winding trip through the North Atlantic, and then returning a year later, almost to the day, to the same spot that they would tag. So similar behavior from Megalodon makes complete sense. If, indeed, this is Megalodon. Honestly, I would see why that would be absolutely terrifying. Hey y'all, Meyer here. So take a look at this footage. This is coming out of Moorhead, Kentucky, um, off of a couple's security cam. They captured what looks to be some sort of unidentified creature. Uh, there have been theories abounded regarding it um, from aliens to windigos to ghosts. I honestly, I don't know what this could be. It's definitely humanoid um, and it seems to be naked. Uh, but I don't know exactly what this creature could be. Could it be that the veil is truly thinning and we are starting to see interdimensional beings or things that have been there the whole time that we've just never caught on camera and now we are? I don't know exactly what that is, but in my opinion, I think it's a human, just in a costume or something. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Seriously? Hands. Do not touch my ass. If I see your hands again, my husband will come back here and bust your f***ing sh**. What's up, man? You like touching women? I ain't touching like them, Like assaulting women, bro? I didn't touch them. You put them hands on me, bro. What's good? Got you on tape, bro. So police were called, they take the man away. I don't know if they arrested him or pressed the charges, but police did get involved. But who wants this guy coming after you? Still tired of Let me check it. I don't want nobody sticking their fingers in me. All right, we're good. New fear unlocked, getting groped on planes. Thank you so much for watching, that's all I have for today. Comment down below which one was your favorite, and I'll have more for you next time. Hey everyone, if you like this type of content, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button, as I will be posting multiple times a week under different genres. Liking, subscribing, and commenting will actually help other people see this and help me a lot. I have placed a whole bunch of links down in the description below, including the video shown, my Discord, other social media links, and side projects. Thank you all for all your support, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!